All right, guys, welcome to our YouTube video. And today I'm going to show you how to fix this mess. So this is under our upstairs toilet. That's another bathroom that we're also renovating. And we have to cut this out and fix it because our entire shower basically is resting on this beam in our toilet. Our tile would fail and our shower would fail as well. So I'm going to show you how to basically box this out and make it legit, all right? So follow along, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because we're going to be doing a video every single day for the month of January to show you how do we renovate this entire bathroom. So let's go. All right, guys, so let me talk you through this. So first thing we have here is we have really strong PL glue that I'm putting onto this two by 10 and I'm going to put it up next to the beam that has the problem. I'm doubling this one up because my entire shower upstairs is resting on these two beams and I want to make sure they're bulky and freaking as strong as possible so i made sure that it overlapped my wall that's going outside my outside wall and then the wall on the right side which is my hallway wall i put some nails into it just to kind of hold it in place and then i'm also pre-drilling some 3 8 inch bolts i'm going to bolt this down because I, I just really wanted to get that nice squish on it and get that glue to really laminate the glue is what's really holding everything together here plus the bolts don't you know don't uh not help so I want to make sure that that's as bulky as possible right there. For uh, I honestly tend to build overbuild things, and this is probably another one of those scenarios. So here I'm going every 16 inches. I'm putting in another bolt and just really making sure that I've got that good compression on there and that that glue really um, laminated. So next we're going to deal with the issue that we had. I'm going to uh, put this guy a little back, but then we're going to get back and uh, start on our. Um, mess over here so i'm going to saws it off nice clean line down basically there was a split over there so i wanted to go as far to the right as possible without going all the way over and replacing that entire thing and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put two doubles uh double two by tens to beef that up as well i'm going to tie that back to that two by ten right there so i kind of connect that back and then we're going to get another one i had a wire there that i had to notch around um, but basically having both of those come back and later on, I'm going to install some, um, joist hangers on them as well. There's going to be a double on that side and single on the ones coming back. That's really going to hold everything together. Um, at the end, you'll see like one of the really cool tools that I have for the joist hangers here. So make sure to stick around to the end to see what that is. Um, but the reason I'm boxing this out is because the the toilet upstairs the toilet flange upstairs is going to move about five to six inches to the left so i want to make sure that that's just a big open area right there for my uh plumber to work in and that is 16 inches i wouldn't really go more than 16 inches because then it kind of you know starts getting into that trampoline effect as well so same thing on this side i doubled this up and um made sure to uh nail it all off watch the tool that i'm going to use in a little bit it's one of those little palm nailers and it's to get into those really tight areas over there it's pretty sick uh, but so this basically I, I don't know i think it's called boxing it out that's what i did here so i basically boxed that out so our plumbing there um, is boxed out otherwise you could do uh you could laminate it but laminating is really hard because you i would have had to demo out that plumbing in order to get my wood in there and basically in a two by ten i'm cutting a three and a half inch hole i feel like again i'm compromising that wood so here i'm using one of those palm nailers it's just an awesome tool to have it's really satisfying to use and then also getting into tight areas like over here um it's just so much useful so now i'm putting on my hangers so on that side i have a single hanger and these are like your um joist hangers right so i'm gonna put that on the single one over here then on the right side i'm gonna do the same thing and then my doubles will get joist hangers as well and honestly, I feel like this is as strong as it can get when you're repairing something like this. I know on TikTok, people talked whose fault this whole thing was. I blame the plumbers and no offense to them, whoever did this. Yes, the carpenters didn't put the beam where it was supposed to go. That's that's true. But that doesn't be, mean you go and you um, compromise the floor upstairs. You know what I'm saying? You ruined it. All right, guys, that's all that's to it. Um, this gives us a lot of room because this has to get relocated to about here and the plumber is going to have to mess around in here. So if we had to sister or laminate or anything else that, um, 
you know, another way you could have done it, it just would have been an absolute mess and you might have not actually have fixed it. This has given it so much strength just by kind of distributing the load all around it. We reinforced this one because our entire shower essentially upstairs is going to be on these two beams. So we want to make sure that it was as beefy and thick as possible and as strong as possible. So easy solution. This took us about an hour to do. So now you know how to fix a bad uh, floor joist. Let's go.